ODIN is a new way of carrying out underwater inspections of the hulls of the marine installations in such a way that we don't need to use divers or world-class ROVs. Reducing diving operations is important because diving operations incur a lot of POB. POB means bed spaces. Bed spaces that could be used for other things. Diving is also an intrinsically dangerous activity and is expensive and weather dependent. ODIN uses far fewer POB. It's an intrinsically safe activity and it changes the way the industry does things because we inspect from inside out rather than from outside in. We carry out a fly past with a mini ROV and that's really just to make sure that there's nothing significant uh, in the way of uh, external damage. But it's a very short operation, maybe one or two days, and only uses two people as opposed to maybe 10 to 16 people. With Odin we developed a new methodology of putting high performance cameras into the piping adjacent to the valve or the sea chests. And in that way we can inspect the valves in situ without disrupting operations or production in any way. Well overall the bed space requirement for Odin is far far less than diving operations and that means there's more beds available for the operator to carry out vital maintenance and operational activities. Odin has been accepted by class and the regulators and in fact most recently we've had acceptance by the flag states as well and we're presenting Odin to the International Maritime Organization in the next few weeks and we fully expect them to be positive and accept the system as well. One of the ways we want to develop ODIN is to actually clean and maintain the valves without the use of divers or work class ROVs and that means we'll be able to provide in essence a complete service that keeps the hull integrity intact for very long periods of time which is really where the industry wishes this technology to go. Another thing that the HITS JIP, HITS being Hull Inspection Techniques and Strategies JIP, firmly demanded was the challenge to the industry of reducing man entry into tank spaces because of intrinsic hazards in doing so. We've made a lot of advances. We fully expect to be launching that as a new service in 2015. Ian and I has been working on this challenge for at least the last 15 years and in particular we've developed a concept called No Dry Dock Safely. The new generation of FPSOs needs to stay on station for up to 25 years and the concept of having to go to dry dock would be a major issue for operators and indeed for class societies. So we've been working hard on a number of technologies that supports that idea and we firmly believe that the only way to stay ahead is to innovate and bring innovations to market.